mowers. Toro is a well-known name in our industry. So today we're gonna to go over some of the features of this mower. We're gonna talk about how fast the blade spin or your blade tip speed. And we're gonna talk about what that actually means compared to other mowers on the market as well. So let's jump right in. Alright guys, as a disclaimer, this is a sponsored video as Toro did send me these mowers for review. However, I did not receive any compensation whatsoever to do these videos. The only thing Toro did was send me these mowers to get my honest opinion and feedback on. Alright, so starting with the front of this mower here, the first thing you're going to notice is the big Titan sticker. Uh, this thing is beefy guys, and when I say beefy, you're going to notice that this not only has a widened stance compared to most mowers, which is going to give you that extra hill stability as well, but it's got two and a, a two and a half by two and a half 10 gauge steel on the front axle going across here. Then when we get to our casters, the casters wheels on this are very smooth. So uh, if you've got soft terrain or it's wet out, then this is gonna keep from rutting up uh, the lawn as well. Another thing you're gonna notice is how wide these tires are compared to other things on the market. Now these wheels right here are 13 inches tall and they're six and a half inches wide. So these things are massive compared to uh, some of the other things things. So moving on to the side of the mower here, first thing you're going to notice is the stomp pad. Now this is going to help you clean your boot off as well as a step to get on the mower. Another thing we're going to go into is this, this gauge is 10 gauge steel. The whole deck is 10 gauge steel, but you've also got a reinforced uh, bull nose that comes around and instead of stopping at the caster wheel here it goes all the way around to the side here now uh, another good thing about this is your scalp wheels if you mow low you can move these up if you mow uh, you know high then you can move them a little lower but these are fully adjustable for uh, four adjustments on these so these are at the top right now when it comes to your spindles, uh, so this on the side has a hole that it makes it easy to clean everything out of it, any debris that gets in there. But once we remove this, now we're going to get into the spindles. These are eight inch cast aluminum, uh, non-greasable spindles. So non-greasable not only means uh, more time mowing and more time spending with your family but less maintenance on this as well so all you got to do is wash it blow it out and move on you don't have to worry about greasing these now moving on to the back tires they are a beefy 22 by 11 uh, and by 10 these things are massive and talk about tread depth check that depth out you want to talk about holding uh, being able to hold a heel nicely and have plenty of tread, these are it. So now moving to the back of the mower here, they've got this laser engraved uh, longhorn plating on it, which is real nice. Then we're going to move to the uh, engine. Now the engine is a commercial grade 24 and a half horsepower V-twin Toro engine with uh, a canister filter. Now this makes taking this filter and changing it real, very simple as well. Easy, very easy maintenance. But uh, guys, this is a 708 cc engine and it's backed by a three year unlimited hour residential warranty and also a three year, 300 hour commercial warranty. So if you plan on using this for commercial use, you are back three year, 300 hours, and this thing is a beast. This mower comes equipped with Hydro Gear ZT2800 uh, pumps with external oil filter, charge pumps, and they are fully serviceable as well. Whenever it comes time to do the service, that means that these pumps are gonna last longer, which means a longer lasting mower. 
and changing the oil is very easy on this here's your oil filter right here very easy accessible and then here is your drain line now all you got to do is pull this bottom hose out and then pull the top of it straight over and then it simply just slides right off to drain your oil very easily then when it's time to put it back on then all you're going to do is slide it back up on this tubing here slide it back in the bottom of the thing and push it in up top and you should hear a snap now we're on the other side of the mower and uh, one of the things you're going to notice here that's a great feature is they changed their discharge chute so this is a, a very hard rubber flexible discharge chute so if you hit something it's insured to just pop right back If you wanted to lift this up you could there is a spring that keeps it held down you can literally move you can literally move this spring and lift this up for easy access another thing about this is the blade speed on this so this is running an 18,700 yes I said 18,700 FPM that's feet per minute most zero turns run anywhere from 17,000 to 18,500 FPM uh, blade tip speed. This Titan right here is 18,700. What's that mean for you? Well, that means not only a cleaner cut, more suction to pull that tall wet grass or just tall grass up to give you not only a cleaner cut, but it's also going to disperse that grass uh, very nicely instead of clumping as well. So less clumps. All right, so moving on to the top side of the mower here, the armrests are up and down, so they're adjustable up and down. Uh, we're gonna go into this. So here's your hour meter. So this does have an hour meter on it. We've put roughly uh, in the two months we've had it, which we've only got to use it for a little over a month, uh, I put roughly 18.8 18 .8 hours on this. So you've got your choke, just like most of the other ones, your throttle, your key, PTO, and then your hour meter. All right, so when it comes to changing the battery on this, since this is a my ride system, the seat does not lift up or anything on this. So the battery is very easy to get to. There's two flathead screws right here. You twist them, and once you get them twisted, then you pick this up, and there's your battery. Now, not only is this very easy accessible because they've got it pretty much bungeed in here, so it's very easy to get in and out. They've also added a bigger battery for uh, easier starting. The mower is by the front cutout section here, and as you step on the mower, one of the first things you're gonna notice is the handcrafted high back seat with uh, armrest and the bullhorns. This premium stitching, this thing is absolutely gorgeous and very comfortable as well. Well, this is 100% adjustable for the user, so it moves all the way back and all the way forward as shown for lots of different positions. As we're sitting on the seat, we have a foot lift assist to help you lift the deck anywhere from one and a half inches all the way to four and a half inches or you could press the pedal and uh, get about an extra quarter to a half inch. Looking to your left when setting on the seat, you look between the armrest here and there is your gas gauge and then right to the left of that in the fender, you have a nice little cubby hole to hold your can of pop or your keys or whatever else you'd like to put in there as well. When it comes to suspension, the Toro is no slacker by any means as the My Ride system is fully adjustable. So you have one through four options here for uh, depending on your weight and height to adjust. Then as you're setting on it, you also not only have front suspension to help you with all the bumps, but as you're setting on it, you have suspension going back and forth all the way. And then you also have suspension left to right for them bumps. So you've got suspension all around. 
go over two more things here. The, the steering dampeners in this are awesome. They're going to allow for full control. So uh, a lot of zero turns when you push these forward, they move back. These are going to give you less fatigue as you can move them forward and they will literally stay in that spot. So you can just sit there and pretty much rest your arms depending on the speed you want to go. Another thing is your brake here. So whenever you get ready to go, you just push this down and then of course pull it up to lock in your brake. So that's going to do it for this video guys. If you have any questions, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the all new 2020 Titan and we will see you in another video. So thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you soon.